I'm at 5741 Southeast Knight Street. Here is the street view. Here's the house. And then houses on either side. Seems to be a nice neighborhood. Looks like lots of gardeners. Um, here's the house across the street. Here's the house on this side. This one's a little bit more run down, but not bad. Um, so this one is fenced in and they have a vegetable garden in the front. It's a quiet street. We are one block off of Woodstock, which again is the street I was telling you about. The New Seasons goes in on 45th and Woodstock. The house looks like it has been meticulously maintained. It's got new windows, the siding looks like it's in great condition. It's wood siding. And here's, I'll walk you along the pathway. Fenced in backyard. And here's on this side. Oh, here is a bike shed area right here and another storage shed. I've got the the key for the bike shed is the same one for the basement access so I've got the basement unlocked. So walk in. They've got um, laminate flooring. Nicer looking laminate flooring though than I often see. Uh, lots of color in here. So it's kind of a living room dining room combination. Uh, so we are facing south here, so this room would get good light. Again, dark colors. So to the right, we have a full bathroom with a tub shower combination. And then there is a little utility room with a stackable washer dryer. We've got the little dining room area here. We've got the kitchen. The kitchen has been updated. Not a huge kitchen, but it's got a lot of counter space. They did slab granite, a tile backsplash, uh, cabinets. It looks like the micro hood vents out. So here we are facing east. Um, we've got a pantry right here. Again, meticulously organized here. Oh, they've done a chalkboard wall area here that looks really cute. Okay, so walking down the hall on the left is the first bedroom. Um, they can take the loft bed or leave it there. Um, the room is, I would say, 10 by 10. Here's the closet. So, decent sized closet. Again, I'm not seeing anything uh, that looks like deferred maintenance in the slightest here. Okay, continuing down the hallway, and that flooring is also a laminate. It's a little bit different, as you can see, than, um, actually all the bedrooms are that other laminate versus this one uh, in the living room and hallway. So bedroom number two, this one looks a little bit smaller, probably nine by 10. Again, facing west like the other one. Um, same size closet as the other bedroom. Um, and then the master bedroom in the back. Good size bedroom here. There is a slider onto the deck. We've also got off of here a walk-in closet with some built-ins, bathroom. There's a kind of an Asian um, tile motif in the counter as well as the sink. Uh, tile 
what is this tile or yeah tile surround um pretty high ceilings in here um actually the whole house has pretty high ceilings i would say at least nine foot high ceilings um so back through here the yard is gorgeous they have a built-in deck it's got a covered area for a little bit of it um, over here they've even got like lights down on this step um, they've got a fire pit here with some built-in benches we have a tool shed which looks like it has electricity here See if this is unlocked. It's a, a standard tough shed. It's locked. Um, this play area. I'm walking around to the other side. The um, I'll show you that the lot actually continues back behind. There's space for two uh, cars back here. So if you walk to the right of the tough shed, there is another gate. So, again, they've put these uh, cabinets, or cabinets covers, on it to store. And here, let's, let's see if these, these gates are actually both locked. Here is the alleyway to access this parking. There's the alleyway on the other side. So it's a common alleyway, um, but stuff could, you could park back here or even extend it and make it part of the yard, which it looks like. I'll try to see if other people have done that. Yeah, it looks like other people have just extended their fences and made this part of the yard. So the basement has a separate entrance. Um, I'm gonna pull up the permits on it. It looks like it's been uh, recently finished. Oh, it looks like there's also central AC. Um, from what I can see of the roof, it's not a real steep roof, but it looks like it's in good condition. So there was a cover, pretty heavy cover that um, covers the basement that I lifted before, and it has a latch right here. Um, so this looks like the concrete is pretty new. Um, there's drainage down here. So here is the water heater. Um, let's see. Oh, there's light. Uh, so we've got insulation. We've got a water heater that was just installed in April. Uh, furnace doesn't look new, but it looks newer. We have, I'm trying to see if I can see the plumbing. We've got um, PEX plumbing, so it looks like the plumbing has been updated. Um, again, they've done like a pony wall, and it looks like newer excavation down here. Uh, they've got the vapor barrier all along here. I haven't seen the electric box. I'm going to go check that. But yeah, this looks great down here. Smells dry, is dry. Okay, so there's the electric box. Panel. So I'm going to go back in the house and see where that is. Um, I think you could easily get at least $1,600 a month for this house and potentially even $1,800, especially as they add um, these stores and stuff onto Woodstock. Um, let's see here. It's in the utility room. Uh, yep. Okay, so we've got uh, a newer 200 amp panel. Um, it's got the permit, 2007. So really, this house... 
aside from if you want to change the paint color is literally move in ready and um, it looks like it's been kept up exceptionally well again here you go 